A deadly surprise attack by Japanese forces occurred at Pearl Harbor, a U.S. naval facility close to Honolulu, Hawaii, on December 7, 1941. Just before 8 a.m. on that Sunday morning, hundreds of Japanese fighter planes descended on the base, where they managed to destroy or damage nearly 20 American naval vessels, including eight battleships, and over 300 airplanes. In the attack, at then 2,400 Americans, including civilians, died, and another 1,000 individuals were injured. President Franklin D. Roosevelt asked Congress to declare war on Japan the day following the attack. Although the attack on Pearl Harbor came as a surprise, conflict between the United States and Japan had been brewing for years. Japan's escalating hostility toward China particularly infuriated the United States. The Japanese government, thought that encroaching on its neighbor's territory and monopolizing its import market were the only ways to address the country's economic and demographic issues. In order to achieve this, Japan invaded China in 1937, starting the Nanking Massacre and other atrocities. A slew of trade embargoes and economic sanctions were implemented by American politicians in response to this hostility. Without access to money and goods, particularly necessities like oil, they reasoned, Japan would have to restrain its imperialistic tendencies. Conversely, the sanctions strengthened the Japanese people's resolve to defend their position. Washington DC and Tokyo engaged in negotiations for months, but neither side would yield. War appeared to be all but inevitable. Hawaii's Pearl Harbor is around 2,000 miles from the U.S. mainland and 4,000 miles from Japan, close to the center of the Pacific Ocean. Nobody anticipated that the Japanese would invade the far-off islands of Hawaii in order to launch a war. U.S. intelligence officers also believed that any Japanese attack would occur in one of the, very close by, South Pacific European colonies, such as the Dutch East Indies, Singapore, or Indochina. The naval installations at Pearl Harbor were not particularly well defended because U.S. military authorities did not anticipate an attack so close to home. Fort Island in the bay was surrounded by nearly the entire Pacific fleet, and nearby airfields were crammed with numerous aircraft. Pearl Harbor was a very simple target for the Japanese. Defeat the Pacific Fleet was the straightforward Japanese strategy. In this manner, with Japan's armed forces dispersed over the South Pacific, the Americans would not be able to respond. The Japanese started their attack on December 7 after months of preparation. Japanese aircraft began to swarm the sky over Pearl Harbor at around 8 a.m. Bullets and bombs poured down on the moored ships below. A 1,800-pound bomb detonated at 8.10 and fell onto the battleship USS Arizona's forward ammunition magazine. More than a thousand sailors were trapped inside the ship when it exploded and sank. Torpedoes then sliced through the USS Oklahoma's battleship shell. The Oklahoma, which had 400 sailors on board, lost balance, flipped onto her side, and submerged. During the surprise attack, which lasted less than two hours, every battleship in Pearl Harbor had received serious damage, including the USS Arizona, USS Oklahoma, USS California, 
USS West Virginia, USS Utah, USS Maryland, USS Pennsylvania, USS Tennessee, and USS Nevada. In the end, all but the USS Arizona and USS Utah were salvaged and repaired. In total, Roughly 20 American ships and more than 300 warplanes were damaged or destroyed as a result of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Airfields and dry docks were both devastated. Most importantly, about 2,000 people lost their lives. However the Japanese had been unable to seriously damage the Pacific Fleet. In the 1940s, aircraft carriers replaced battleships as the most significant naval warship, and on December 7, all of the carriers belonging to the Pacific Fleet were away from their bases. Some had left the island, while others were bringing planes to the forces stationed on Midway and Wake Islands. The base's most important onshore facilities, like as oil storage depots, repair facilities, shipyards, and submarine docks, were also unharmed by the Pearl Harbor attack. The U.S. Navy was able to recover from the attack quite swiftly as a result. Two thousand four hundred and three U.S. people, including sailors, soldiers, and civilians, were killed in the attack on Pearl Harbor. In addition, one thousand one hundred and seventy-eight persons suffered injuries. There were one hundred and twenty-nine Japanese soldiers lost. The USS Arizona was home to half of the Pearl Harbor victims. The wrecked battleship now serves as a monument to all Americans killed in the attack. On December 8, the day following the devastating attack on Pearl Harbor, President Franklin D. Roosevelt delivered a speech to a joint session of the U.S. Congress. The United States of America was abruptly and deliberately attacked by naval and aviation forces of the Empire of Japan yesterday, December 7, 1941 a euro inch a date that will live in infamy. The American people will triumph through to complete victory, he continued, no matter how long it takes us to defeat this deliberate invasion. When I say that we will not only defend ourselves to the fullest extent possible, but also take great care to ensure that this kind of betrayal never puts us in risk again, I believe I am expressing the will of the Congress and the people. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, the American people decided to go to war as a country for the first time, after years of discussion and disagreement. Congress gave its approval to Roosevelt's declaration of war against Japan on December 8. Three days later, the United States and Germany, two of Japan's allies, went to war. Congress responded by declaring war on the European powers for the second time. The United States had joined the fight more than two years after it had begun. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.